Today I'm getting a Korean lash lift and eyeliner tattoo. I've booked in at Denude Beauty, a Korean beauty shop that specializes in semi-permanent cosmetic tattoos and lash lifts. I found them on Instagram and was drawn in by their before and after photos. Their lash lift results look really good and they work with a lot of clientele with similar lashes to mine, short and straight. I also saw a photo of their eyeliner work which is done on the waterline to make the lashes look fuller. It got me very interested so I made an appointment. I met with Gyu who is the director of Denude Beauty. She's going to be working on me today. She starts off with the Lash Lift, also known as the Ampule Perm, because it contains a highly concentrated ampule to help minimize damage to the eyelashes. First she cleanses my lashes, then she uses tape to lift up my eyelid. To protect my lower lashes, she uses eye pads underneath my eyes. Next, she's placing on the silicone lash pads. And she uses an adhesive to lift the lashes up onto the pad. I asked for the most lifted curl they had, so I'm hoping it'll give my lashes some extra oomph. 지금은 롯데에 속눈썹을 부착하고 일제를 바를 거예요. 속눈썹을 연화시키기 위한 작업이에요. Next, Gyu applies the ampule perm solution to help soften up the hairs. 그럼 이제 펌젤을 이용해서 어, 연화가 될수 있도록 펌젤을 발라드릴 거예요. This product helps to break up the bonds of the hair so that they can be fixed into the new shape afterwards. She covers both sides with cling film. Waiting for 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. After 15 minutes, the solution is wiped away. Then she applies the second solution, which will help lock in the new curl. She places on top a small strip of perm paper and this is left on for 10 minutes. 10분 기다려 주시면 돼요. After that, she removes the product and applies a black lash tint which will help define the hairs. Whilst I'm waiting for my lash tint to process, let me tell you about my new perm product that I created for my brand The Petite Club. Meet Perky Perm Brow Lamination. This is a DIY brow lamination kit that you can use at home to reshape your brows to make them look fuller and more lifted. First, you apply step number one, soften to clean dry brows, making sure all the hairs are saturated and get some love. This solution softens up the brow hairs so that they can be reshaped. For best results, cover with cling film and leave on for six to 10 minutes depending on your brow hairs. Next, gently clean off the solution and apply step number two, which is Raisin. This is a neutralizing cream that helps lock your brow hairs in place. Again, make sure to saturate each hair and brush the hairs up into your desired shape. Leave on for another six to 10 minutes. Then you can remove the product and use the mini brow comb to brush your hairs in place. And you're done. Perky Perm is officially launching on Coriel.com on the 4th of January, but you guys can pre-order now and get 20% off using code EARLYBIRD. Plus you'll receive a free bunny headband as a gift. You can choose from the pink or the white 
white one so you guys can look all cute whilst you're perky perming your brows. I can't wait for you guys to try it out. As always, I'll leave more details in my description box below. Now let's get back to the video. After 10 minutes, the tint is removed and my lashes are cleaned. Here she's applying a serum to nourish my lashes. Ooh, and check out that lift. I have lashes that you can actually see now, yay! Okay, here comes the part that I've been a little bit nervous about, the semi-permanent eyeliner tattoo. Believe it or not guys, this is my first tattoo ever. <laughs> Now, Gio did explain to me why the eyeliner tattoo she does is different to other places. She prefers to tattoo a very thin line on the waterline and she doesn't like to wing the eyeliner out. This is because over time, the eyeliner can get thicker, it can fade and smudge due to the oils on the skin. So at her shop, she only works on the waterline so the line stays thin, it doesn't smudge or discolor. This is more like a lash enhancement rather than semi-permanent makeup because it won't look super obvious like I've got eyeliner on. It's just going to make my lash line look fuller and more defined. Okay, with that understanding, now I'm ready to get tattooed up. First, she applies a numbing cream to my lash line and covers it with cling film. Once I'm numb, she removes the cream and preps her tools and ink for the treatment. Not gonna lie guys, I was definitely getting a little bit sweaty thinking about having a needle millimeters away from my eyeball. But hey, I've tried some pretty intense treatments on this channel, so I can totally handle this, right? <laughs> to my surprise, it didn't hurt. It felt oddly satisfying, actually. The best way I can describe the sensation is that it feels like when I have an itch on my eye and I scratch it, it's kind of relieving, it's not painful. It's definitely not as bad as what I pictured. Now Gia begins tattooing on the outer corner and works her way towards the inner corner of my eye. You can see she has pretty steady hands and the line she's creating is super thin. After she does one pass and my skin is opened, she applies a second numbing solution and then moves on to my other eye. The solution was a little bit stingy, so that was the most uncomfortable part of the whole thing. But I would say the whole process is pretty comfortable and best of all, it didn't actually take that long to do. Now she's going back in with a second pass to deepen up the color. For this part, I couldn't feel anything thanks to the second application of numbing cream. And now she's pretty much done. Gia asked me to check if I was happy with the thickness of the line. It looked pretty good to me. Here's what my eyes look like afterwards. I really like the combination of the lash lift and eyeliner together. Let me flash up a before and after photo so you guys can see the difference. 
Can you see that my eyes look more defined now, but in a subtle, natural way? So no need for mascara and makeup. Now as for the cost, here's a breakdown. The Ampule Lash Lift and Tint costs 100 Singapore dollars, which is about 75 USD, and the results last up to six weeks. The Eyeliner Tattoo costs $400, which also includes a second touch-up session. Overall, I'm really happy with my results. Now if you guys want to see more beauty treatments, click the video on screen and remember to subscribe. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!